Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 3 Video 7 on working with loads. Let's take a look at the wind load load cases now. If I go to my case menu and choose add case and create a wind load load case, then we'll see a dialog appear which lets us set the properties for the automatic generation of loads due to wind pressure on the structure. So obviously we give our load case a name and we define a wind velocity profile. So for a constant velocity we can just put in a constant value here or we can have a wind profile that varies with height. Uh, the air density is there as an optional override and we define the direction of the wind relative to the orientation of our structure. So I've got my wind blowing in the positive x direction. I'm just going to move this dialog box up so we can see the bottom. Down the bottom we can see what we going to apply our loads to. So for this first uh, demonstration I'm going to apply loads to the load panels and uh, we can see below that the load panel factors which we can apply. So we can either use the Australian standard to generate this, it's similar to other standards around the world where we uh, calculate a pressure coefficient and an area reduction coefficient, we need to specify the average height of our roof. Or alternatively we can define a series of user-defined pressure coefficients and so if we take a look at that we can see that uh, we can define the coefficients for the windward wall, the side wall, the crosswind wind roof and so on. And if our roof has pitch on it then for each of the different parts of the wall on the roof we can define a different pressure coefficient based on the pitch of the roof. So if I use that option, I'm just going to use the standard option there, then what Multiframe does is it automatically looks at all of the uh, loads on the structure. It looks at the orientation of each load panel that I've got here and it calculates the pressure load uh, based on its orientation relative to the wind direction. If I rotate that around a bit, I think you'll see our icon there. It is our wind pressure going from left to right. So we can see our windward pressure windward roof uplift, uh, leeward roof uplift and leeward wall low pressure. Those are all using panel loads which are pressure loads. If I turn them off and show the resulting tributary area loads we can see that they're automatically calculated for us. The second option is to apply wind loads to exposed members. So if I open up a truss structure we'll see we've got our truss here and I'm going to create another wind load load case except this time with the same uh, pressures that I had at the top I'm going to apply loads just to my members and then over on the right hand side here I can then calculate the factors associated with uh, each member so the aspect ratio of the section, its inclination factor and any drag force coefficients. So if I do that you can see that my loads on my exposed members get calculated automatically. Actually I made an error there, my wind's in the wrong direction so let me edit that and I'll put my wind at uh, 90 degrees so that uh, it's uh, acting, that's better, acting transversely across the truss. So if I go to a plan view you can see I can select all of the leeward members of the truss and for both panels and members we can always override uh, the different factors. So for example we can put in a shielding factor on the leeward side to reduce the leeward side loads um, for all of the members in the structure. I could change its uh, uh, overall pressure factors so you can see uh, we can change the factors for the uh, primary and secondary directions, uh, override the factor of due to inclination and so on. So great deal of flexibility there to automatically generate loads based on the wind pressures and override them. Finally for both uh, members and for panels we can override uh, the coefficients, uh, if I just go back to those coefficients that I was displaying there from the load menu uh, when we look at those factors we always have a user coefficient that we can override so we can uh, set that to zero if we want to completely ignore the loads on a member or a panel or patch uh, or we can override that to increase or reduce the automatically calculated load from multiframe. That completes our look at automatic wind load case generation. Thank you for watching.